Today, I draw artists who've inspired me. Hey guys, I'm Greenfy, and today I'm going to be telling you artists who've inspired me. But also, we're going to be drawing them as well, so that's going to be quite interesting. Now, of course, there's been tons and tons of artists that inspire me now, actually lots. But pretty much at the beginning, there wasn't that many, and pretty much these were the main artists that I am still inspired by their works. Like, they have t pretty much inspired me to do most of the things that you see guys see now. Heck, even doing art as general. Let us get to why, exactly. <laughs> so if we go back, oh let's say, oh in 2020, let's say we go back 9 years, oh, Jesus Christ, 2011. Oh, those were better times. <laughs> so, why 2011? So, pretty much in 2011, Intermediate 2 Art, I passed. I got A, and I was feeling pretty good myself. I didn't exactly do great in doing the written work and stuff like that, of like talking about these artists and stuff like that. Wasn't my strong suit. English was not my strong suit. Probably my weakest of any other classes to take. So, why is I saying that? Well, pretty much the year after that, I decided to do art again because I wanted to do a higher level. Because pretty much in general, I kind of thought in my mindset, well, I'm not exactly great at English and I'm not great at maths. So I guess I'll sort of career, I'm probably doing art related stuff or pretty much, you know, that kind of thing. But unfortunately, it would seem that it was not to be in 2012. For you see, pretty much I had a really good start at the beginning but then was pretty much told, unfortunately, by my teacher that I would not be taking the class because my writing was too weak. And pretty much because it was also the thing of like, I was a bit slow as well. So unfortunately, I was not allowed to do higher. Yeah, what a kick in the teeth that was. So pretty much, as you, I pretty much got to the point of like, I was literally doing art class and getting no qualifications at all. I was not getting higher or anything or nothing. So I still did art, but that was the only time. I only ever did it at that time just in school, and that was it. I stopped doing it um, outside of my, pretty much doing a house when I was at home and stuff like that. It, 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 it demoralized me a little bit because it was pretty much, yeah, it, it was it was a little kick in the teeth, and uh, what can you do? So let's fast forward now back to 2014, where obviously I had first seen MLP. But it was also the time that I was also trying to do art a little bit again. I was trying to get a little bit back into it, but I wasn't doing it as constantly as I do it now. Like literally every day I'm doing art every single day. Literally. Even if it's not a full blown like art piece full colour, I'm still doing sketches. So what exactly happened? Well, that is where people asked me, why don't I go to this convention? Brony Scott. And this is where things got really interesting. So pretty much in 2015, I got to see lots of different things. And one of the things that really intrigued me was the vendor hall, because I never been convention, so what was cool? And what was the first thing that I kind of saw? There were artists. And pretty much the first two artists that I saw ever back in 2015, that was almost five years ago, almost five years ago. We're really getting to that mark of November now. My God. The first two artists that I ever saw was Mad Munchkin, and James Cork. I hope I have said that right. I am so sorry if I haven't said that last part. I'm not, I'm still, I'm better now than I was five years ago. <laughs> now why have these people exactly paid my attention? Well, pretty much um, one of the panels that I attended back at Bronze Court at that time was uh, Mad Munchkin, pretty much also known as Amy, had pretty much told me about um, a lot of things about YouTube, the, the benefits and stuff like that, and all the things like that. But it also really intrigued me of which of the artworks that she done at that time. And wow, they were pretty cool at that time. But they've it pretty much every year she's gotten better and better and better to the point where it's literally made me want to get better and better and better. But don't think she's the only one either. When I also see uh, James as well and his artwork, I was wow. Oh, there were things that I seen that I never ever actually seen quite like before and they had really really inspired me to actually literally get to the point of going I want to do these kind of things that people haven't exactly done like sure let's have a pony on a motorcycle sure let's have this flying over here and my imagination kind of sparked more and more and pretty much as the years also got by I actually became good friends with both of them and every time 
we've gone to convention that i always meet up we say hi stuff like that and we just talk about stuff and it's really fun and heck even to this day both of them really inspire me like really to the point of like every time i see the artwork they, they inspire me to non so pretty much the third artists you probably made another video but pretty much he is uh joey bean now why exactly joey bean exactly it's not like because i've met him in person maybe he is a little bit but um, I've met other different artists, uh, Joe Bean, the amount of stuff that I have, I've seen quite a few cool things. But his other stuff is really cool, like, I mean, like, it's so, it, it's, def it's definitely different than I've ever seen quite before. I've seen so many different styles, there are so many different styles. Um, some of the things that I've seen, um, like, some of these bigger, massive updates, the amount of detail, like, some of them are... It's extraordinary. It's really cool. <laughs> I can't. I don't really know what else to say about these guys. All I can say is, I guess you can say I can thank them in a way for inspiring me to get to like where I am today and actually push myself beyond the borders and actually keep betting better and stuff like that. And heck, even some of the advice that they've kind of told me as well has actually been really helpful. Like generally, like. A few little tips and stuff like that, they've even told me how they do certain things, stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely helped me actually get better and actually improve now than I did before. It's rekindled uh, my creativity that I lost all those years ago. So, I guess you can say I thank uh, these creators, but also quite a lot of artists as well. Heck, every time I see artists now, I don't just go like, oh, they're so much better than me and stuff like that. Oh, they're, they're, they're. No, I, the first thing, that is not what I see. What I see is generally like, like, oh my god, that's possible? That is cool. That, it just, when I see art parts, it, like, some, there's just so many different things. Those are the styles of that. Now, of course, you're not going to exactly copy them. That's not the exact point. It's like finding your own path and stuff like that and all that kind of thing. Anyway, I have talked absolutely way too much. Let's get to the point where we do an art piece of those three people that have inspired me to actually get to this part. Now, of course, there have been other people that inspired me as well. Don't get me wrong, they have. But these people have, um, I guess you could say these were kind of the first people that inspired me to do bigger things and really go beyond the borders. So I guess you could say you could think I guess, there's quite a few people that have inspired me to go above and beyond. <laughs> so anyway, let's go dump right into the art piece and yeah, let's see how we go.
And there you guys have it. Three artists, all of them together with different art materials. <laughs> so I wanted to make this as arty as possible, a big explosions of colours of them, each of them holding different uh, bits of materials, Maddie with a paintbrush, James with pretty much a stylus of pretty much the digital pen that you usually have, like I have, and pretty much I gave Joey Bean pretty much the pencil because I've seen him sketch a lot. Like generally even conventions like every time he's always busy with like the next sketch or something he's like oh I've got all these and stuff. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, I guess you kind of learned a little bit about me and how I kind of got back in actually doing art. So, now of course there, ha there are a lot of other artists now, nowadays, that every time I see, anytime someone wants to show me something or I see someone's art, I pretty much will immediately go, that is really cool. Like generally, I will look at it and go, that actually inspires me to do something else. Maybe I'll do something. Uh, it tries, like. Art is so cool, it is amazing, like actually art is everywhere, heck art is freaking like there, like some artists had to kind of draw that out or something and obviously got to that. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, that's all I've got. <laughs> Here's Foolish, yay, but that's pretty much it, thank you guys so much for watching, you guys have been awesome, I'm Goonfly, this is Foolish, we will see you later.